it. Stop. You're going to ruin the end of the movie. <sighs> Can we start from the beginning, please? Dear moviegoer, thanks for watching my trailer. I'm Darren Behrman. I'm a pool man. I love Los Angeles. And I'm fighting to make it a better place. These are my best friends, Jack Denisoff and Diane Esplanade. This is my take on the Langer's egg cream. A little bit of cinnamon. Oh, it's brilliant. This is my girlfriend, Susan. And this is June Del Rey. She's uncovered corruption at city council and thinks I can help. She thinks I'd make a great detective. Whoa, like undercover? Yes. Uh, I'm not really trying. Can I get back to you? These are the bad guys. That's a lizard. And this is a tree that's trying to tell me something about my past. Anyway, these are some cool images set to awesome music. Hit it! Watching. Have an awesome aquatic old day. Yours, XXDB. Where did Dad get all this stuff anyway? Hey, Dad. No, that was <clears throat> Father. Hey, I'm gonna miss you. Dad, no filming. Just another day at home with Lydia. Have you thought about where you're applying? I'm not gonna apply. Last year of high school, huh? That's exciting. She's a little sensitive because she hasn't decided yet what she wants I'm to I'm right here, Mom. Oh. You need to do something to grow. You spent the last year on pause. I'm actually making a movie. What? Yeah. Dad was a screenwriter and I never even knew. I'm making Dad's script. Space Chronicles. I'm getting that NYU scholarship. Do you even know how to make a movie? Do I? Hmm. I have no idea how to make a movie. I need help, you know, like an assistant. This should be exciting. Auditions, the energy, it's the theater. I am reading for Gilvor. G Gal for? First day of auditions? It was terrible. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Can you remind me again exactly how you're paying for your little movie? Come buy some pity cookies. Hello, Better we are them. making a movie. <laughs> Action. Oh. You need to take a break. Boy, wait, wait. My script's missing the next page. Me too. Um. My grades are slipping, okay? I'm exhausted. I know you've been through so much no, and I- I don't want your pity. And there comes a moment where you think this is impossible. Direct engagement with the camera can add a lot. And the costumes dazzle. And you think to yourself, my God, I participated in something magical. You're gonna get your happy ending, promise. I'm sorry. This is the movie cliche unoriginal. This is easy. These dew drops are banging. How was a field trip, boys? <laughs> yeah, we gotta hand feed the giraffe. Yeah, the sucker was eating right out of her palm. You made this? How old are you guys? 16. 14. You idiots are gonna end up on the side of a frickin' milk carton. I'm grounded. No more running free range all summer. I've got one week to find a legit job before my mom goes full tilt DEF CON. We need to bag some summer jobs. You think you can hook us up? You can ask if they need an extra hand. With what? That thing. Snack Shack. I think they bid it out at the city council meeting. I want to pitch you an idea. Okay. You bid $2,000 on the Snack Shack at the swimming pool. Actually, we bid three. <laughs> it's a 
total shithole. Yeah, but it's our shithole. Oh. Let's get to work. We need this fucker spick and span in case some hull inspector comes sniffing around. Moment of truth. Goddamn, fellas. It's not shit. We're gonna be rolling in so much fucking dough this summer. Hey, you call me a Diet Coke. Thanks. You know that shit? So what's your name? Are you flirting with me? What are you doing? So I fuck on it with ketchup. Charging 75 cents more. That's fucking genius, dude. Fuck dogs! Get your fuck dogs right here! There's been a pattern with you two. An escalation. Oh. Oh. A very dangerous escalation. It's open season, <gasps> limp dicks. You never know when, you never know where. That's piss, ain't it? You're unbelievable. This is fucking epic, dude. I just want to this summer. Feel me? Want a little advice, homie? Make a move. Any move. Give me a fuck up, kid. Cool. You're unbelievable. Nice wheels, douchebag. Morris. Alcoholic. Is Clint Eastwood gonna tell me to get off his lawn, bro? All right, all right. Fuck. We're all here to get back. I'm sorry. I don't think I've been more than two days without drinking in the last 15 years. You're here for a while. Do your chores and don't complain. It's pretty easy. Everything's gonna be okay. Welcome to the loony bin. You smell that? Probably from the weird out for you. Used to keep piss and Ziploc bags under his bed and collect his own eyelashes. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to contribute, be an asshat, and teach these guys something. What's that? That's our 2015 softball championship trophy. We haven't taken it seriously in quite some time. You got this, baby. Put a little boom in it. I keep running. What you focus on will grow. You the man. Like the connections with these guys. Looking for something. And I am trying, guys. Dirty aliens. Something I don't know. <laughs> I felt that. I keep losing. The house is going up for auction in three weeks. I got nowhere else to go. You got 10 guys that need this place. 80 grand. Yeah. 80 grand. Pretty nice trophy for softball. We have to practice. Yeah. What are you hitting them? I pretending they're the rice balls. You need to pick out a team name. Backdoor sliders. <laughs> oh. Beaver pitch. Oh. Come together by the Skeetles. <laughs> oh. Jerseys. What the hell? <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Well, the C is pretty close to the D on the keyboard, so. Why are you really out here, Mars? I want to be sober. I want to be a rad dad to my little girl. What's up, girl? You got our uniform? I'm not wearing this. I like it. Let's do this. Get free here, get clean here. A whole new world cracks open. I know I'm a little fat now. I was really sought after underwear man. <laughs> My man Ezra flying without a net so that he could order himself a ice cream, please. <laughs> doctor who first told me my son was autistic. Could have saved us both a lot of time if he just said the truth. Autistic kids don't give up. They don't. You want me to put him in a special needs school? Jenna knows I'm broke. She knows you're still not over her. The man you're in shouldn't be living with his father. He led 20 kids onto Washington Street. Your son has been a danger to himself. He's not dangerous. He's a challenge. Nobody wants to do the work. Now I see where the dangerous behavior comes from. Shut up! You want to do something for your son? You get yourself to LA. Jimmy Kimmel wants to book you. What? They're not going to fly you. Is that going to be a problem? Uh, no. Hey, 
What are you doing? As we're getting the car. I need to get him away from here. Not taking here. the car. I'm no, taking him aside. Pop, pop. All I ever wanted was just to protect our boy. Well, I'm protecting him now. Give your Uncle Nicky a hug, huh? Come on, come here. Hey, hey, where are you going, Ken? You know, the word autism comes from the Greek, in your own world. I don't want him in his own world. I want him in this world. That kid is the one thing that I can't get wrong. Just look him in the eye. Looking a horse in the eye, it's like sharing your soul. Where the hell are you? Taking a little time off with this. Not a good time to take off, Max. You're fighting for something. You might have to suffer consequences, but it's worth it because you did it. Because you love your kid. Dad's job is to take his son down the field. And if he gets tackled, yes. all that dad wants is for that kid to pick up the ball and to take it the rest of the way. It's the Nikki. What up, man? Are you serious? Have someone call me when you get out of surgery, all right? You should drive out there. Ricky's been there for you guys your whole lives. The devil's in the details, my friend. <laughs> it worked! Atlantic City, here we come. What we got? Ricky's cancer is back. Why does it have to be cancer? Won't everybody get worried? Yeah. And that's going to take us right into the World Series. To Ricky Stenicki. The best friend we never had. Mm. My baby's going to be born six weeks early. I was born six weeks early. Oh, shit! Sure. I want to know where the hell you guys were tonight. We called every hospital and there was no record of a Ricky Stanicki. You know, all we did was tell one lie. Hundreds and hundreds of times over many, many years. If the truth does come out, my marriage is over. What if we hire an actor to play Stanicki? Rock hard rod. X-rated rock and roll impersonator. I do a whole act. Wall to wall, top to bottom, jizz jams. Thanks for coming out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So horny to be here. This is a really bad idea. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I've been cold turkey in the booze. Ricky Stanicki's in the program, remember? Oh, Rod. It's not what you think it is. It's just piss. I'm a hyper every time, not my mouth. I want you to admit that Ricky Stanicki does not exist. Hey, my puka! Stanicki! Yeah. Oh, yes! yes. This is Ted Summerhays, my boss. Ted, nice to meet you. Digging the suit and the seedlings, man. The seedlings. The hair plugs, they're new, right? This is my hair. We're gonna lose our jobs. That my best friend. She a real bad on a dance floor. Epic night, am I right, guys? Slurpy, she throw it out and come back in. That's my best friend. I was really taken with your friend Stanicki. He's got brass balls on him, that guy. That's why I hired him. That's awesome. You just said... What did you say? Just say it one more time. We can't let him out of our sight. Not only did I miss the birth of my son, but I let some poor old Peter Frampton impersonator snip his... And we're done. Stanicki, you are unbelievable. Show's over, Rod. It's Ricky. Ricky Stanicki isn't real! My job sucked. I had no friends. But now I have all those things. Oh, are you a fraud, sir? What are you talking about? Best friends. That's my best friend. We gotta get rid of him. Every time he tries to make a point, it's like he's smoking invisible dogs. Dear God, it's true. To support. Now it looks like I'm cupping the balls. Can I ask you a weird question? Yeah, weird away. If something happened to you, and I could stop it, but it would mean we would never meet. Would you want me to? What? Two years ago, my boyfriend Max passed away. I can't seem to pull myself back together. Ever since the accident, certain songs literally pull me back into the past. What do you want to do today? 
All of it. Maybe it's time to start living in the present tense again. I used to listen to this album over and over. I love how music can do that. What? Pull you back to some moment in time. Just stop the car! What if I can save him? What if I can change that moment and the accident never happens? You met someone new. How's this a bad thing? I would still listen to every record that ever existed. To save him. It feels like I'm cheating. You coming? I just want a house. I want a place I can call home, Nick. That's the American dream. Four walls, a patch of grass, a place to write my novel. What are you doing here? Get yourself a starter condo, like reasonable people do who have no money. Two hundred and forty thousand with live-in. What does that mean? The house is immaculate. It's worth every penny of the asking price. Her husband passed away years ago. They never had any children. Live there until she croaks, and I get the whole house. It's almost too good to be true. Want me to help you make the hot water colder? You must be Astrid. Did you hurt yourself? I fell. Oh! Uh... Did you break anything? Because if you break anything, you pay for it. Well, it was nice to meet you. She has offspring. This is one of my kids. I have a contested will in my future. I'm gonna sue you. And everyone involved with you! You exhaust me. You are an angel, Phil. I want to feel your light. I'll evict you before the week's out. Mm. I've been having a series of very bad days. What if she lives another 20 years? Do you wish death upon her? Not tomorrow. You saved my life. No, no, no. Every time I see the light, I see your face. Just because I'm standing over you backlit. What kind of moron buys a house under such circumstances? <laughs> Are you crying? Sorry. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, it's been a challenging few years, for sure. But I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. I'm the luckiest man alive. <laughs> Make a wish, buddy. Wade Wilson? Who's asking? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? Why am I here? Walk with me. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. I'm the Messiah. I am Marvel Jesus.
don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna add him in. Deb, you're seeing this too, right? Like he's frozen? I mean, yeah, I can't hear anything, but his humidifier, whatever, that thing's moving. <coughs> oh. Ooh. What up, brothers? Are you moving back to LA? No. Come back, dude, move. I have COVID. 19? What the hell just happened? I mean, I don't wanna sound racist, but I just feel like white people in Idaho are not taking this seriously. So I had an idea. You and I should make a documentary about the two of us driving to Boise, Idaho to go see Wes. You guys, this whole thing is a bad idea. I don't see what the issue is. You're capitalizing on your friend's potential death to gain notoriety in the film industry and all to tell the story of your white male friend. Yeah. I feel happy, I feel charged, I feel excited, I feel skinnier. You feel skinnier? Yes. Because you look kind of the same. The same, yeah. It's just you and I doing cool stuff. It just feels a little cliche. That's because it is cliche. But it's what the people want. If it's too much to ask, like with you guys filming a movie and everything. What? No, come on, man. We're on our way. Okay, we're fully lost. For a second, then. Sneaking around and being deceitful, that's going to build a lot of tension. There's not a whole lot of that going on in this movie. Rains a lot this time nope. Of year. I guess I'm just a little tired of carrying us creatively. Why do you even want to work with me in the first place? This whole thing is ruined. I'm happy for like the first time ever. Trash, mentally ill, totally normal. Devin hates me and I hate Devin. Wes hates Devin and I. I just wanted to make something good with my friends that was special. <laughs> I think Mark Duplass will see this movie. Hello everyone, Mark Duplass. You gotta be kidding me. There's literally no way. Mark Duplass attached? It's definitely gonna get sold. I think so too. are the A story and you are the B story. My name is literally in the title of the movie. Yeah, but like so is Saving Private Ryan, you know what I mean? You don't really see Ryan until the last 15 minutes of the movie. Protecting the environment is extremely important to me. For me, this course is all about self-control. Conscious eating strengthens and purifies our bodies. They're gonna eat all that. Kaza, please, can you just eat something for a change? I'm eating consciously. I find it so important to teach our kids how to reduce their consumerism. Hum, hum, hum. She gave me the tea. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I think Miss Novak is manipulating our children. I'm out. She can't be serious. Don't you get it? It's a question of faith. Hereby declare you members of Club Zero. <laughs>